There are two basic stitches that you can use in making your socks. You can use a nice smooth stockinette stitch which is very stretchy and makes a great basic stitch. Or you could use on the front of your sock, you could use the reverse of the stockinette, you could use the purl stitch which is a very different stitch and this could be used on the front or in a ribbing. Now to do the knit stitch, you'll want to lay your working yarn on top of the pegs. Now you want to take your knit hook and go underneath the bottom stitch, grab your working yarn and pull it out and over the peg. And you're going to put that newly formed loop back down on the peg. And then you're going to give your working yarn a little tug. And that is the knit stitch. Let's try that again. You're going to take your knit hook and go underneath the peg. You're going to grab that working yarn, pull it out, up and over the peg, put that newly formed loop back down on the peg, back down on the peg, and then pull that working yarn. Again, take the knit hook, go underneath the stitch, pull out the working yarn, pull it up and over the peg, and then back down on top of the peg. Now you want to just continue this knit stitch all the way around your pegs until you get to the beginning again and then just keep repeating that stitch until you make your sock. Another version of the knit stitch is the flat stitch. You want to lay your yarn across your pegs and then you simply take the bottom loop up over your working yarn. Take the bottom loop up over the working yarn. This is going to give you a little bit tighter stitch than the knit stitch. It's not going to be quite as stretchy, but it's going to look just like the basic stockinette, just like the knit stitch, but it's a little simpler to do. Now you're just going to continue in the flat stitch all the way around your board, knitting every peg, and then you just repeat the process until you get the length that you would like. Now I'm going to demonstrate the purl stitch. You simply lay your yarn below your stitches. Now you're going to take your knit hook through the top of the stitch. Go down and grab your working yarn, pull it up and over the peg, and put that loop back down on the peg, and then pull your working yarn, and then you're going to do that again. You're going to take your knit hook and go down through the top of the stitch, grab your working yarn, pull it up and over the peg, and then put the loop back on the peg. Again. You're going to take your knit hook through the top of the stitch, grab your working yarn, take it up and over the peg, and put that newly formed loop back down on the peg. Then you're going to pull a little bit with your working yarn, and that is the purl stitch.